Hi, gorgeous, and a very happy Frugal Friday to you and save money September. In case you missed my initial announcement, every single video coming out for the whole month of September will be drugstore theme related. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there will be a new drugstore video. So please make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any videos coming out this month. Today's video is one that I'm so very happy, excited, thrilled, ah! happy, just sublimely happy to be filming. And that is because I'm doing a review for the new Makeup Revolution palettes that have come out by Emily Noel 83. I'm so happy, I'm so happy for her. She has paid her dues. I mean, for crying out loud, I think that I initially started watching YouTube videos when I discovered one of her videos. It was her and Julie G. Uh, does Julie G make videos anymore? I even wonder about that. But the, her and Julie G were the first two beauty gurus that I watched videos from when I started thinking about getting into YouTube myself. And this was way back in 2011, 2012, I want to say. So needless to say, I love Emily. I'm so incredibly proud of her. She has paid her dues, which by the way, very cute that she named one of the eyeshadows in here, dues paid. It was like, yes. So in honor of Emily and this collaboration that she did with Makeup Revolution, I'm going to do this video in the old style of YouTube, the way that many of us probably remember watching YouTube videos. And I'm going to review the palette as I go and show you swatches of everything in both of these palettes. And I'm also going to do two looks today with both of these because I feel like there's so much here. How could I not? Before we start on the tutorial portion though, I wanna show you what these palettes look like if you've not seen them yet. If you've not seen them, what, where, where are you, what, what's going on? <laughs> this is the Face Palette, otherwise known as the Needs, and she has six eyeshadows here and then four products for the face. And the second palette is called The Wants because ha, who doesn't want this much eyeshadow? <laughs> this palette contains 24 gorgeous shades. I love the shade range and I love the names that Emily chose for this palette and the other palette, by the way. They're very positive, uplifting. They're not crass and uh, overboard. It's, it's so refreshing. I mean, I don't want to put a roach on my eyes and I don't want an orgasm on my cheeks, okay? Anyway, hopping right on into the video. From the Needs palette, I'm going to take the shade called Love and I'm using this as my blending shade. So I'm applying that basically to prep the eyes. This makes blending a lot easier. Next shade I'm taking from that palette is called Peace. I'm using this as my transition shade, so I am going to apply it in the upper crease and blend it towards the brow bone. Great formula with these eyeshadows. They're very soft, easy to apply, very easy to blend. From the Wants palette, I'm taking the shade Midwest. I'm using a more tightly packed brush for this application. This is the Sigma E25. I'm simply using that to define the crease a little more, so bringing the shadow down a little further than I did with the first shade I applied there. The only trouble I've had with these two palettes, honestly, is deciding which eyeshadows to use because there are so many wonderful shades in here. I want to use them all. Going back to the Wants palette, I am taking Corduroy, which is a deep matte green. Oh, this is so beautiful. And I'm applying this into the outer V. It reminds me a lot of a MAC eyeshadow. Which one, which one? I can't think of the name. What name? Bottle Green. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. It was a really deep green. I'm not even sure if they carry it anymore, but this would be a great replacement for it. Now I typically really edit down my tutorials for time purposes, but I'm gonna show you a little bit more in today's tutorial. I'm going to go back with the shade Midwest and blend along the edges of where I applied Corduroy to get it to blend into the look. And when I put eyeshadow into the outer V, I really rely on using that socket line and moving the brush back and forth in that area of the eye to deposit the eyeshadow. Next shade I'm taking is this one called Side Hustle, which 
I stuck my finger in it. I'm applying that on the middle of the lid. Mm, it's a little too close to corduroy. I think I want a little bit more contrast. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and apply it on this half of my lid over here too, so everything matches. Okay, I am going to use the shade Grateful, which is this very light green. It almost has a bit of gold to it too. So impressed by the quality of these eyeshadows. It's just gorgeous, beautiful. Anytime I wear green eyeshadow, I can't help but add in a green eyeliner. So I'm using Maybelline's Lasting Drama in the shade Glossy Emerald, and I'm applying that directly onto the waterline. And we're gonna tight line the upper waterline too, what the heck. That is so stinking pretty, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of everything and then we'll come back to the face palette. Onto the Needs palette, the face palette. Very well thought out. She has a bronzer here, a blush, a highlighter. This is a under eye setting powder, which is really nice. I used it when I set my under eyes and it's a little powdery in texture, but it does a beautiful job of setting everything. And then there's a mixture of shades to choose from here for either the eyes or the face that you could use. And I know that they're meant for the face, but there's also a lot of really pretty shades there that I would personally use for eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the shade Courage here, which is a contour shade. It looks a little dark. Ah, we'll see how this goes. And I'm going to apply it. Ooh, yeah, a little dark. Whoa, racing stripes. <laughs> Blend. The good thing is, is it blends really well. So when you blend it out, it's not so bad. It adds a very nice definition to the face, but it's not too much, as long as you're careful to blend it. And then I am taking the shade Joy, which is a peachy pink blush, and I am lightly applying that. See, one thing I know about Makeup Revolution is that they have very pigmented products. So a little bit, little bit goes a very long way. Now take a little bit of the highlight also so you can see what it looks like on the face. This is gratitude and I'm simply going to apply it with my ring finger. Whoa, look at that. Subtle and pretty, a beautiful light glow on the skin. For my lips, for those who are curious with what I would pair up with these eyes, I am going with one of the flower lip liners and this is in the shade toffee and I'm pairing that up with my favorite nude lipstick. This is from the Maybelline line in the shade Blushing Beige. I did promise you a second look. So using the Wants palette exclusively, I did record a little mini tutorial for you here of another look that you can create with this palette. To create this, I used Pizzazz on the inner half of the lid. This is such a unique shade. It's a pinky purple, and I really don't think I have any eyeshadow like this, to be honest with you. Then I used Pi Fi on the outer third of the lid, and I carried this one up into the outer crease also. And this is a matte eyeshadow. It's a deep, burgundy purple, really beautiful. And to blend out Pi Fi where I applied it to deepen the crease, I used Dews Paid, which is a warm toned neutral. Another really beautiful look that you can create with this palette. And the great thing about this many eyeshadows in these shade ranges is that you're not going to get bored because the possibilities are endless. If you're interested in checking out either of these palettes, I will have them linked for you below. Please support our girl, Emily. I guarantee you, you will really enjoy these palettes and you will not be disappointed in their quality. Great job once again, Emily. Much love to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos coming up for Save Money September. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.